Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the extension from the 20 week moving average and how we may be able to use it to identify local tops. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we know that Bitcoin has been deviating from the 20 week moving average less and less each market cycle when you actually measure sort of where it peaked at for each major bubble, okay? We had one in 2011 that peaked here. We had this one in April of 2013, followed by one that was lower in November of 2013. We then had one in December of 2017, and now we've been flirting with this again in December of 2020, and then in February of 2021. <clears throat> We've had about two peaks. We had two short peaks that happened, uh, which identified both local tops. Now, the reason we look at this is because we expect extension from the 20 week moving average to more or less diminish with each market cycle. And the reason for this is because there's a lot of evidence to suggest that volatility over the macro scale is decreasing for Bitcoin each market cycle, even if it doesn't feel like it. Now, these two peaks this cycle so far are definitely higher than every other peak from 2017 except the last one. However, they still are coming in a lot lower than the one from 2017. Now, we do know that over time, this trend will have to break. Otherwise, it would imply that eventually it would go to be always, uh, it, would, it would imply that the price of Bitcoin would always be below the 20 week moving average. Now, this indicator here specifically is the natural log of the price over the 20 week moving average okay so if since it's a natural log if this were to ever equal the natural log of one meaning the price is the same as the 20 week moving average that would equal zero so anything below zero would mean that we're below the 20 week moving average so let me just draw that line so anything below that means we're below the 20 week moving average so theoretically at some point in the in the distant future and maybe not too distant depends on what your time frame is by the end of the decade if this trend were to hold, it would imply we would always be below the 20 week, which obviously doesn't make sense, right? Of course, we're going to break through it at some point. The question is, is do we break through it here or do we, you know, do we come back down and then maybe break through it later on and then so, and then go off on some new trend? Okay, so this is what we do not know the answer to. However, it is interesting to identify the fact that each cycle, the extension from the 20 week moving average has been less and less. Now, how can we use this to potentially predict short term moves? Well, it, it's really hard because obviously it's going to really depend on exactly how you draw this line, uh, whether you, you know, what sort of peaks you try to you try to fit it to or, or compare it to. Generally, we can see that it, it's more or less decreasing along this line. Um, but of course, it's not like it's going to be an exact fit. If we sort of just match up this peak, this peak, and then these, we can see it sort of on this trend line here. Now, if we were to come back up to the top of this trend line, like the last two peaks, basically at the same level, let's say it's around 0 0.76, 0 0.77, somewhere in that ballpark, we need to identify what price would correspond to that. Well, the first thing we can do is we just look at the 20 week moving average. It's currently at 32,241. So if we were to take the natural log of the price over 32,241 and set it equal to approximately 0.76, then we know that a price of Bitcoin going to approximately $69,000 would put us back on this trend line. Now, I should say though, we know that this trend line is based off a moving target, which is the 20 week moving average. <coughs> so with that in mind, if the 20 week moving average is increasing by about $1,500 a week or so, you know, it varies depending on the exact price movement, but let's just say that in, in another week or so, it'll go to $34,000 then the projected short term peak based on that trend line would actually correspond to approximately 72 to $73,000. So I think this indicator can be useful in potentially identifying short of these local tops that we keep getting in this manic bull market. Um, but remember that it's in reference to the 20 week moving average, which is a constantly moving target. So as always, time is on our side. We'll see if this trend line eventually breaks. So far, it really hasn't because in order for us to get to a valuation to break the trend line to go above, say, the prior top in 2017 in terms of the extension from the 20 week moving average, we would need to go to about 1.05 on this scale. And for instance, if the price were to go to that level next week, if the 20 week moving average were $34,000, 
then to give you an idea of how far extended we would need to be from the 20 week moving average, it would actually put us at a modest $97,000 in a week. So that's why I don't necessarily think that's going to happen. I, I think it's more likely that we continue to stay under these prior levels because it will take a lot more volume to move to move the market. And so we're likely not to be as extended from the 20 week moving average each market cycle. But we'll take it one step at a time. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go for 250,000 subscribers. We need about 30,000 more subscribers to get there. So make sure you subscribe. Also check out the premium list altcoin season sale. You can find a link to that in the description below. You get access to these trading view indicators that you see, the Telegram alerts channel, the risk dashboard, the into the cryptoverse app, the weekly reports and videos and more. So make sure you guys check it out. We'll leave it up for a few more days. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.